side. Alright. Thanks again, Academic, for starting the recording. Okay. So, any other announcements from the team? From Ten Academy. Yabeba, do you have any announcements? Yeah. Um, I have an, uh, more than an announcement. I, I, I would just probably later because it's I would require most people joining in. Um, so let's just yeah, I will say it before the end instead of now. Okay, thanks. Any announcement from community building? Okay. Seems like not any other announcement. So let's start, of course, by hearing from how you guys are doing. Dabi, but do you want to kick take yeah, over? Let me take over exactly. Yeah. Um, great. Thanks. Thanks, Everest. So, um, anyone want to share anything exciting that they have done in the weekend, or anything that, for that matter? They would like, they would think that people would like to hear. Or any news that you read that made you think. Okay, so people are definitely probably working and resting. So uh, the usual. Um, so let's then go again i want to hear last last week we started about how you feel right and i think that you know the most important part is i believe that the kind of feelings uh, which are usually not quantitative but they are very long-term predictive so is there anything that you have told that you would like batch seven the ones that will follow you uh, would have something different so do you have any feedback or recommendation that if something has been done slightly different, you might feel that it could help? You know, it's, it's better. Again, the one part that I have to stress is that the main element of this training is non knowledge. Because knowledge is very, it's not easy to get. It, you know it, it takes time. It's not just only one time awareness, but it's a multi repetitive. Uh, understanding and then the scope of knowledge is also very different depending on what you want to do you may think you understand something but then there is another level to it but with respect to i think the most important part is with respect to mindsets like preparing you for to be better um, and to do something that you haven't told before and to build confidence um, that that you are capable seeing every time that something so different for example this week challenge you most of you probably haven't don't have even a basic let alone anything you probably didn't know or heard even some of the terminologies web3 you probably have heard web3 but um no, nothing more than that maybe and then you are expected to build you know something usable by the end of this week and this has been repeated and it will be repeated and that kind of thing, hopefully, we, we hope that it will provide you some form of confidence and immunity to real life work. Wherever you go, then you will basically be like, okay, you know, great, of course I don't know it, but how shall I approach it? You know, who should I ask? What should I consult? Stuff like that. So that mindset preparation, as well as confidence, as well as professionalism, uh, as well as endurance, right? So if we are, you know, stressing you a lot that's not good so in, in all of those aspects if you if you know if you have some feedbacks and recommendations for people to follow you what where should we improve or where, where do you, you know kind of just give any free flow observation that you have anyone want to volunteer you can also type good night okay good morning yeah <clears throat> uh, I want to comment uh, on what is for batch seven, what is left or what will be if it is something which is added for those batches. Uh, as 18 Academy, you uh, provide uh, like 
social competency, mental competency, uh, and others, but physical competency is left. Uh, most of the people or all of, we are sitting for a long time and working for a long time. And if you add something which may train or for at least seven to 10 minutes or five to 10 minutes that like, which includes physical competencies, like for starting by mindset, tra mindful uh, training and so on. If that is added, I think it is better for uh, those to be, this uh, decreases the stress of the uh, trainees and uh, at the same time, uh, and, and, and it, it makes energetic uh, and uh, like, like that of community service, if yeah. such kind of sessions is included, I, I think it is better for uh, everyone which supports this. That's just to give us a comment uh, for um, week uh, five uh, uh, challenges. Uh, uh, most of the time I spent on installing of the, the tools which is uh, which is going to be used for the uh, challenges and that is uh, that takes a long time and it is uh, challenging I was working on Windows and uh, that makes me <laughs> a little bit uh, tough for me and uh, but finally, I tried to uh, install every tools and uh, try to visualize some of the not full half of the things which is uh, expected. Uh, um, but I, I didn't even uh, get time to look the, to that of the data and the, the, the outputs and the, and so on, and the, that was uh, my uh, uh, experience of last week. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much, Gannett, for, I think, you know, definitely I would, uh, the care team or the community team, please take into that account. I think the physical competency is essential. It is, and so let's probably have some form of, I don't know, like a few days um, post your uh, when you run or something um, or some form of physical thing. So hopefully the team will consider that. And in terms of installing, I think we strongly recommend people to get away from Windows and go to at least Linux. And that is why even in our application, we really strongly recommend that. I think people spend unnecessary time figuring out and it's not useful i mean in my opinion i'm biased so you know yeah take this with the yeah. great also but i really don't believe that windows is suitable for um, a lot of the things that you do so especially in the data science and data engineering almost the entire planet is linux in the back and on the back end or in the cloud so using windows in that sense is just it's really not, in my opinion, not advisable. Uh, so as soon as you can just change, most of the people, most of the trainees also change around like, you know, week five, week six, because they find it just almost unbearable. So I would say yeah, earlier yeah. change, better. Um, so. Yeah, I perceive that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Mohammed? Uh, good morning. morning. Uh, I hope you had a you had well spent your weekend. So uh, my update from uh, previous week was yes, as 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 the team and as a group, um, we we all struggled in installing Airflow, DBT, and Docker Compose files. So uh, I had that same issue, but uh, yes, because of. Uh, I'm a Windows user, uh, so yes, uh, I decided by the end of the week to switch from Windows to Linux, but somehow, somehow I'm facing um, 
to to make a soft switch between the two systems. Uh, overall, this uh, the week challenge was um, for for this week specifically. Uh, I approached a, a different way in uh, making tasks and delivering tasks. Uh, I understood what what we want to do, what we should do, uh, and I tried to deliver the tasks. But because of uh, Windows and the the problem of Windows, I couldn't deliver most of them. Uh, but overall, uh, I understood what uh, we what we we should deliver this week. So that was the update from my side. Thanks, thanks, Mohammed. Yeah, I think you uh, know it's a recurrent issue, and also from our side, there was a challenge. At least we didn't provide early the computing machines and it was late and also um, I think most people didn't connect or so that would hopefully would be fixed in the next data engineering and you will have the chance to install all of them of course next time um, either in your own machine as well as under cloud so that you know that should be fine um, but thanks for for this one so let's proceed then in terms of you know what people have managed to do so especially people who haven't please who haven't spoken in the previous weeks present your work um, and it is not a requirement you're not going to be graded you're not going to be given it's just that it's part of the preparation right so if you don't do it it's really yeah it's i mean i nothing will happen to you and it's but it really try to compete even to to present not not the other way around so any hand just again it's three minutes um and if you try to finish it in two and a half minutes then we'll get more people so let's start who is who's willing to take us through what they have done in two and a half minutes just a very summary of the essential part Gideon. Hello, if you are speaking, are you speaking? Uh, can, yes, can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, now we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we do now. Okay, uh, so the, this week's task is a uh, data engineering task and we're, ta we're supposed to build uh, an efficient data warehouse that's scalable and we're supposed to use the extract load and transform framework uh, so the primary tools we'll be using for this week are apache airflow dbt redash and postgres as our database and a brief overview of this uh, tools are apache airflow is uh, is a tool uh, that allows the authors to programmatically schedule and monitor workflows this is done by writing this uh, dogs and these are tasks that we're sub uh, that our apache airflow is supposed to execute and the apache airflow dashboard allows us to monitor the progress and how many times it ran and errors and so on uh, the other tool is the data build tool or dbt and it's used uh, it's just a very efficient tool that allows us to trans to write transformations for our code using uh, SQL code and queries. And uh, Redash is a business intelligence tool that allows us to present our data in a simple, any simple to understand visualization because uh, at the end user might not be a technical user and having uh, uh, user-friendly presentation format is helpful so this is where Redash comes in and it uses SQL queries to like to, to filter the data and we can it, it offers different types of graphs uh, and other visualization methods for presentation purposes 
So this is the steps I took for this project. The first one is setting up Airflow and uh, extracting our data and loading it into our database. Secondly, it's setting up DBT and writing transformers and also documenting our database table columns and also the transformations we've written the, at the models. And uh, lastly is setting up Redash and developing our reporting dashboard. So for our first task, we're supposed to uh, install Airflow. So I installed Airflow using uh, the pip install method. I didn't use the Docker Compose because I was having a lot of issues uh, with Docker. So I just uh, directly installed it. And when we're using pip install, we're supposed to provide a constraint file. So the constraint file will correspond with the the Python version we have. So uh, I used this, the Python 3.8 constraint file. And after that, we're supposed to direct the Airflow home variable to our working repository where our, uh, air, where our docs and so on will be located. And after that, we we're, we create a user yeah, for to sign into our Airflow dashboard account. And we initialize our Airflow project using Airflow DBT in it. And uh, once we've initialized it, we'll have uh, different configurations we need to figure out, especially what type of database we're using and how to connect to it. So for example, uh, this configurations will include our database username and password and uh, IP address, port address, and so on. So in our case, we're using Postgres. So we'll just configure that. And once we've connected with the database, okay. And so just unfor unfortunately, get unfortunately, time is uh, yes. three minutes. So you see that's where, um, yeah. So but great. I think I know that you had. So like, do you have any one last slide? If, if so, I can allow. But I think let's just stop it there and then. Uh, three minutes is not. Okay, maybe you have to know. You really cannot. Yeah. Okay show one thing maybe if you want to okay. maybe just a conclusion yeah yeah okay just the, the conclusion is we uh, we i set up the airflow to like automate the process and we i used the the, the dbt models to just write a couple of transformations and added those dbt commands using the airflow dash i mean bash uh, operator to uh, perform those transformation operations automatically and i had also documented my dbt models and so on and used the dbt dashboard to just display those those uh those documentations uh and I, I also, uh, there's Redash for reporting and the major limitations I've faced during this uh, challenge is just the setup process. Just using Docker Compose, it requires a lot of, uh, like uh, a lot of re system resources and I was having a lot of issues. So maybe next time, like, as you've said, using like a, a cloud instance would like, make the process much easier. So thank you. Thanks. Great. Okay. Um, we have Mohammed uh, or Tegak. Like, I'm not sure, Mohammed, if you raised your hand from before or. Tegak. Good morning. Morning. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. So, can you see it? Yes, we do. Uh, so uh, I uh, let me just get directly to what I've been working on. Uh, I uh, first installed Airflow using the Docker Compose. Uh, in this Docker in Docker container, we have the Postgres, the database, uh, and let's see. And then I get this result for my docs, which. First, I extract the data. Then, I have I created two table, which is one for the trajectory, and the other is for vehicle data. 
then uh, I installed Redash using Docker Compose again. Uh, so in order to communicate both the Redash and the Airflow, I created a command network for both Redash and the Airflow. Uh, then finally, uh, I have tried to generate some dashboard using the uh, Redash uh, shortly. Uh, this is what I want to present. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Dagaga. I think that's the, the most important element uh, in this case was, you know, when you use Docker Compose, you are able to easily set up network between them. So that means between different uh, Docker instances, right? So that's, I think you mentioned it. So that's really good. Thank you. Um, okay, hi, let me get. No? Hello? Hello? Yeah, you're, you're slightly. I mean, we can hear you. But it's very, very faint. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay. Uh, our last big challenge was about uh, building data warehouse using Airflow DBT, uh, Postgres, and Redash. Uh, the challenge, uh, my challenge uh, from the last week project was uh, the configuration part and uh, making each tool uh, to communicate each other uh, like a microservice. That, that was uh, the difficult part. Uh, fortunately, I managed to do that. Uh, and uh, this is our design diagram. Uh, we have uh, a data of CSV file. Uh, we have Airflow, Postgres that uh, Redash for reporting, and DBT for uh, model building and uh, yeah, but for model building uh, and but, uh, the tasks I followed to make this project was uh, first I create a DAG using Airflow. Uh, I use Python operator to load data. Uh, from the CSV file and to put that data into the database. And also, uh, after that, I connect uh, the DVT with, uh, with the database and I make, I made some transformation on that. And after that, I made a reporting using Graydash. Uh, so uh, in the Airflow, this is uh, my pipeline. First, I read data. Then uh, create table and uh, put that with data to uh, the created table. And I created two tables. First one is uh, the vehicle information. Uh, and uh, the second table is about trajectories. Uh, and uh, those tables are connected with uh, the ID I generated. Uh, and in the DVT part, I uh, uh, my Data lineages look like this, uh, and I created five modules. Each module uh, created uh, a view in Postgres. So uh, the first module is called all data module. Uh, this module just selects all data from our database, and also uh, this is related with the distributions of the vehicles. I group the data uh, using the vehicle type. Uh, the fastest vehicle is this model. I selected uh, the vehicles who, which has uh, speed average speed greater than 50 km per hour. And also, I created uh, the longest, the fastest and longest vehicle and the longest traveling vehicle. These are my transformations. And after that, uh, starting from this slide, uh, uh, I'm going to show you the reporting. Uh, using the radar, this is uh, top 10 fastest vehicles in the world view. Uh, uh, get, can, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Just give me one minute. Yeah. Just stop there and then I will just change.
Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay, proceed. Sorry. Okay. Uh, these are my visualizations uh, from the radar. So, uh, this is the table view of the top 10 fastest vehicles uh, in table view. And after this, uh, uh, this is also uh, the top 10. The top 10 fastest vehicles in bar graph and uh, the blues are their average speed and the red bar is uh, their travel distance and uh, the x-axis is their id mm. and uh, this is our distributions of the vehicles in table view uh, we have bus uh, medium vehicle motorcycle taxi heavy vehicle and car uh, and also, I created the columns of their, uh, their count, uh, total average speed, average speed per type, and their travel distance. And after this, this is uh, the distribution visualization in pie chart. The orange is the car. Uh, that's that's uh, the largest uh, from all of them. And the green is the motorcycle. Uh, and also, uh, this one is uh, the bar graph of uh, the distribution in their total average speed. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, so you have now 10, 20 seconds, just so that, yeah, yeah okay, great. I, I finished. Thank you very much. And yes. happy holiday for everyone. Okay, thank you. And just one question, because that also will help other people to understand better. Um, in Redash, did you do it by hand or did you was it was your dashboard versionable? Like that means did you write SQL or did yeah, you yeah. just create them? I, I just write SQL. Uh, I just created I just write SQL queries and uh, the Redash helped me to generate exactly. So that device. means your you, now the code behind that is versionable, right? So if you wanna migrate it it can be migrated to anything. Yes, yes. Without, okay, that, that's an advantage why sometimes, for example, if people have no a little bit of Power BI or um, Tableau, sometimes you are unable to do that. If you create it once, then you drag or drop or something, it's easy to do, but uh, sometimes you are unable to version and, and migrate or update like code based. So, you know, um, so that's advantage here. So that's good to see. Okay, uh, Nahum, Nahum after me here. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we do. Okay, let me share my screen. Uh, is it visible? Yes. Okay. So last week's uh, project was uh, making scalable data warehouse uh, using Airflow, DBT, and uh, Redash. Uh, so uh, many organizations uh, collect data from multiple sources using uh, sensors and uh, internet of things uh, devices the main challenge while building the system for this uh, is integrating them uh, and uh, making the whole pipeline uh, maintainable and reproducible uh, 
so those uh, organizations uh, choose uh, those different uh, data integration techniques using uh, based on their business need and uh, IT infrastructure. So uh, there are many types of or different types of uh, data integration tools uh, such as batch data integration, real-time data integration, ETL uh, or ET ELT. So they choose from this. Uh, so the meta for the data integration tool was the ETL for uh, decades, but in this project I used uh, ELT. So the objective is uh, a traffic department wants to collect different uh, uh, traffic data, which were uh, extracted from uh, drones uh, that were deployed on different locations in the city. So the data was uh, provided in PNUMA website. It is the downloaded as zero data zero CSV file. Uh, each data contains 20, 10 columns, uh, while the rows represent uh, the, every single uh, vehicle data. So this is the text stack I used. Uh, Hi, Mikhail, I think uh, explained it more. So I will leave it. Uh, so the implementation of uh, ALT, uh, first, uh, as every project, I did EDA on the data. So loading the data uh, into a data frame uh, using a uh, set of separators to separate the columns. Uh, then after that, By I... By the way, you have only 37. Okay. Just, just to okay. 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 let me skip it. So, so after, this is one of the reason why I'm just giving you three minutes and you have to know what three minutes usually is, even if the, your presentation is interesting, but time is more interesting. So go on. Okay. After the EDA part, I load the data into a target database. I use Postgres database, but not locally. I use it railway. This is the DAG I used. I I used a single duck that loads uh, my data into a Postgres uh, database. So after loading the data into a database, the next step was uh, making dbt, uh, using dbt to perform transformations. Uh, dbt performs that in ALT. So these were the data lineage uh, graph. Uh, the feature is the uh, data that was uh, loaded into a Postgres. So three types of uh, data transformation was made. Vehicle average speed per type, data point count per uh, type, vehicle average average distance uh, traveled uh, by type of vehicles. So the final step was uh, visualizing the warehouse data that was made by Redash. So these are the steps uh, in creating the visualization. 10 seconds and... for to show if you have any like plot, but then you are already four minutes. Okay, great. Okay, these are the visualization I managed to make. So if is it, it is visible, right? The yeah. description. Okay. okay. No, this it, one it, it is, is okay. Chart. okay, thank you. I think, you know, the, the thing is time, like, um, that this is good presentation, very well prepared, but the problem is that time, three minutes means really, really, you can't do all what you want. You have to trade off. So in this case, you used almost five minutes and still it was not done. So in a way for whenever you have that kind of presentations, you really have to think about what is really the one I want to show and how am I going to present it? Sometimes in a, a flow determines the time, right? So if you are now objective, whatever, which is great, but which one could you have done, uh, whatever. So, but the presentation in itself is very good. There is nothing problem in that, but timing is, you know, is a, yeah, it's a hard uh, thing. So, but thank you. Okay, and thank you. so, and this is for everyone, right? Just you have to know what three minutes is and you have to really know how to sell your work in five minutes. As you've seen, he has done a lot, but selling is another element. Doing the work is one element, and then selling it, that one, or telling it in a certain way is another element. And you have to really think both um, 
sometimes, especially um, after that, but when you're trying to present, you have to really think about the different constraints that you have, um, especially time constraint usually is, is hard to cut for most people. Um, okay, so anyone else wanna tell us? Uh, I don't know if Patrick, are you able to tell us whatever you have done, as well as also Isaac, is that uh, Isaac here? And anyone who hasn't talked before? Okay, or do you have questions now that most people are in? Do you have questions to people who presented Gannett? Good morning. Uh, le let me present what I have done. Is it visible? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, this is outline of the presentations. The first, the overview, and then we have a project uh, goal that are in the future sub of the data which is provided to us. And um, what is our project scopes? And there are some steps which is uh, used to create data warehouses and uh, the conclusion and then some future work so is there. Uh, and when we come to that of data engineering concepts, data engineering concept is applied in different area. And in our cases of our project, we are going to use these concepts for transportation and the logistic. And in us, a project goal, we will try to see the transportation data set which is provided to us to download from for drones. And we will try to see some of the current transportation flow, types of vehicle which is used, and its connection, and so on. The, when you come to the data in the futures, these are the futures, which is uh, maybe more uh, usable for our projects. There's a project, it's called, do you hear me? Hello. We can hear you, go on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the project scope is we are only uh, used uh, for raw data and uh, we are going to inject uh, uh, by using dbt and uh, we use uh, airflow on the dbt and uh, we are visualizing by radish not more than that and uh, we why we use atl or alt and the both are used for extracting and transformation transform and the loading process but we use etl data moves from data source to stage in our cases, that's why we are going to use. These are some of the difference between these concepts. When we come to the steps to create data warehouses, we set the environment. We uh, install Postgres, Docker, on a Postgres, installing Airflow, and DBT, and so on. And uh, this is the, uh, the data, uh, which is uh, what are done on uh, our cases by installing Azot's Airflow on the DAX, and uh, we start using DAX like this. And as the conclusions in the future work is we are this, uh, the aim of this training is to find the training for that of the latest technology. That is, uh, I think it is achieved and uh, it's uh, it, and it's also uh, to come up with the trainings to with that of further in, innovations uh, idea. Uh, it, it, it makes this one. And uh, for when we come to the future work, we can automate by fully automate and uh, we can use this uh, system uh, for further implementations as a project extension. That's all. Excellent. Really on time. It's well prepared. Just three minutes. So really excellent work um, on that. So great. I think this is 
Wonderful. I think uh, I've seen that hot seat is loading. But before that, I have one announcement. Uh, that is, I wanted to share some of the work on week four challenge that was on the, on the GPT-3 type of project. But the problem is that the data, even if it's just 10 lines, so we will be able to get now more data for that. But the, the, that data is proprietary. That means it cannot be shared um, in public repositories, as well as also just you know, without the, the score, whatever, everything being shared um, in the blocks. So can I ask everyone, please, now, just uh, today and then update me, send me um, in, in week four uh, Slack, please update me. If you have put that data, just even if the 10 lines or the 10 uh, on the scoring part, the job description, don't worry, but the, because you get it from public as well. But the one we gave you just the 10 lines of the 10 rows of data on classification or scoring that part please remove it from your uh, git repository okay so this is very important so please do it and, and 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 let me know if you have already put that data and also if you have put it in your report if you can edit that one by either removing or not including the score that would be great Thank you. Um, okay, to you, um, Everest or Emilian. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Aviva. How are you, everyone? Welcome to week six. I hope everyone is doing good. You guys had a very good weekend. So um, before we start the, the hot seat, I'd love to uh, to tell you guys like the, I have texted some some people uh, on inbox on Slack, so you better check. Uh, I was requesting some some photos, so just check. Maybe it might be you then. Yeah, you can reply. Yeah. So uh, let's welcome uh, Josius. He's our host player today. Josius, are you here? If you're here, please, and you're able to open your video, that would be much good. Then we start. Thank you. Yours is here, so uh, we can use the chat box. But if you also want to speak, I will give you a chance to speak if you want to ask a question. So we can start with the questions in the chat box. Thank you. Let's see. You can type down your questions, and Jesus will be there answering. But before, maybe, how are you feeling, Jesus? How is the seat before we start? Oh, I'm feeling just great. Great. What are you doing? Then it's. Please come again. Is there any question taking like you do like this question? No, I don't. Uh, I'm at the heart of this. Yeah. Oh, so you're ready with any any question? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, fine. So we, we stop recording, then we start we start question. Uh I don't know if someone from an academic can help me stop recording. <laughs> 